Today is Bastille Day. Now, Mum, before you go carrying on, I know that you taught me that the French are absolutely horrible people ever since they bought out Greenpeace and turned it into a dolphin canning factory. But I still feel that Bastille Day is a cause for celebration. Recently, Richard convinced me that testing cosmetics on animals is wrong. Therefore, please send me only those facial creams that have been tested on the naked skin of refugee babies. <laughs> Paul's been staggering around a lot and throwing up everywhere. He says it's the rough seas, but I'm not so sure. I've been reading War and Peace recently, but I don't know what it's about. <laughs> I was pleased, however, to hear that Cousin Valmay's new ears work. It's a pity that falling pianos don't make any noise. <laughs> Dear Mummy Wummy, it's your Tinker Winkle, Itsy Bitsy, Teeny Weeny, Yellow Polka Dot Bikini, Fluffy Wuffy Smuffy Puppy Poo Little Boy writing to you again. <laughs> it's a steel day today, so I'm transcribing the 120 Days of Sodom by the Marquis de Sade. Tim told me I was the best to do it because my memory is so good. At least, I think that's what he meant by anal retentive. <laughs> um, Paul is being horrible to me again. I'm sick of being treated like an animal. I want to be treated like an object. Like a teapot. And mummy, Paul's halitosis has gotten much, much worse. His breath smells like when the cat was nibbling on grandpa's gangrenous leg, threw it up and buried it in the kitty litter tray. I think he's been drinking. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the beautiful otter. I have always wanted one since you took me to see that kids film, Ring of Bright Water, when I was 24. Now, although the otter is an aquatic mammal, it was probably a mistake to put it in an airtight, waterproof plastic bag. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, anyway. It was good to hear you've become an organ donor, but I think the idea is you donate your own organs, you don't go out collecting them from other people. Look, I know it's all for a good cause and you're handy with a standing light, but that's not the point. If you're not careful, they'll have a reason for keeping you there. Your son, in perplexity. Paul, P.S. I don't think there's enough room for the three of us down here. One, One of, of us, us has, has to, to go. go. Tonka News in Brief. Sex goddess Cicciolina was today confirmed as the new Pope by the Vatican. In celebration, Cicciolina abseiled naked down the side of the Sistine Chapel. She later commented, There was so much wind up there I thought I'd open up like a parachute. Lucky I kept my legs together. A beautiful shabbly. Grapes grown in Normandy. Hey, Harold, watch out for that arrow! <laughs> ah. A French Bordeaux. Ah, it's a beautiful drop. Cointreau. <laughs> ah, it's a whole bloody orange in there. But best, best of all. Napoleon Brandy. <laughs> ah, Josephine, a thousand kisses, even to your dog. Oh, God, I love the French. I like to walk along the Rue de Saint-Lager where man can live. I love without a care, I fill my lungs with air that's fresh and clear. Then I like to walk along the Rue de Saint-Lager. I like to stroll, like to stroll. stroll. along the Sun de Pompadour, the Tower of Fair. The Eiffel Tower! Come sweep an interview with Mademoiselle. Lovely lady! All oh, say, Monsieur, Monsieur, I'd like to walk with you along the Costa Shore. I love the French. Bastards! Even though they're out of 
forgot to love aloud. When you order a croissant, they come over here. Wait, buddy, bomb and for this, we won't forgive them. First, they steal our jobs, and then they steal our women. And our bloody men. And our cattle. Examples of French humor for you. Now, I had a friend around this morning by the name of Ronald. I said, Have a citron. Citron? Citron. <laughs> citron. Oh, come on, don't forget stuck is all. Try this one. What's this? It's a very popular Parisian landmark. See if you can guess what it is. Here we go. We won, we won, we won! Come on, think it. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Arc de bloody triomphe! We won! Get stuck, the warrior. Another one, very popular Parisian landmark again. What is it? Surging water! <laughs> Come on, what is it? Come on! Bridge at Bordeaux! Ha! <laughs> oh, get stuck! Mongrels! The Germans are lovely, Tim. But they're always starting wars. English are fine. Yes, wars. rich, but they're miserable wars. The Dutch are Dutch, and I believe that says it all. The Swiss like bank accounts and having all the cash on call. The Greeks, I like, but they give me this nasty rash. Swedes, sounds like stewed vegetable mash. The Portuguese all pluck the hairs behind their knees. Australians are weird because they've got gigantic heads. <laughs> Gigantic heads. Yeah, all Australians have huge heads. Well, that's a bit racist, isn't it? Racist? Go back to university. You're only saying that, Richard, because you've got a big head. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Look at the size of it. When was the last time you fitted into a hat, mate? <laughs> and you've got to have a big head like that. Because if you didn't have a big head like that, then your big eyeballs would hang off the side of your head and they would just dribble down the side of your cheek all the time and form little puddles in the sand. Yeah, and that's why you never get out of your room much. Because you're lying on your bed, <gasps> trying to get up. <laughs> you're like the bloody elephant man. I'm not Richard, I'm a human being. <laughs> Bullshit, you're, you're Richard. Richard. I like to walk the Germans are lovely. I long to do the same as I live. And without a care, I fill my lungs. The English are born. We live in the French and Then I like to walk along the Rue de Saint Lager. He's nearly finished. I really, really love the French. He's nearly finished. I really, really love the French. He's nearly finished. I really, really love the French. He's nearly finished. I really, really love the French. He's nearly finished. I really, really love such a dickhead. I really, really love the French. He's nearly finished. Stupid numbers. I said I really. Lord, I really, really love the Sorry, I thought I was at a Christian revival meeting there for a while. <laughs> um, he, uh, he, uh, he's, uh, he's nearly finished. I said I really... Not I really love the French! Give it a prize! They call me Wayne Kerr, and if there is one thing I hate, it is middle-class children. The only way to bring children up these days is to eat them first. See me in my house tonight. Wayne Kerr, sex is my adventure. <laughs>